What's going on guys? Coach Matt and you go pro baseball.com here with the Nick Shaw, former middle infielder for the Brewers organization, creator of the baseball box, a monthly subscription box delivered straight to your doorstep full with baseball goodies. You can check them out at the baseball box.com. In this video, he's going to share with us four baseball hitting drills that will help you become the complete hitter. Nick was a leadoff hitter. It was a great hitter and these hitting drills, helped you along the way get into professional baseball, right? Explain the hitting drills, please. Yeah, these hitting drills actually became part of my routine, guys. And they're drills that I fell in love with that got rid of a lot of my mistakes I would make and how I would get out. And they made me become a pretty good hitter towards the end, all right? And I want to start with my first one. This was my routine before every single game. Um, I would run up the tunnel, take my swings, run back down in time for the anthem, and it was time to play ball, all right? The biggest thing for me was getting my hands going. All right, getting my hands inside the baseball and driving everything to center. So I would spread out, take away my lower half and isolate my hands, okay? I would take my T and I would come up to challenge my hands even more, all right? So I'm up and down the middle, spreading out. All I would do is load, get into my separation without a stride, load my hands back, fire my hands above the baseball, okay? I'm trying to drive this ball to center field. Now, as I get going, as I get a good rhythm and my hands start coming alive, getting inside the baseball, driving through, I can now move this tee in and challenge myself even more, still trying to keep this ball in center field, all right? We don't need to go 100% on this. I would go about 75% just trying to fire this knob, fire these hands inside this baseball. It may also help if you put the ball on the tee like this, where you can see the two seams like an 11 and try to drive through that inside seam, really challenging your hands and giving your eyes a visual cue that you can use to drive the baseball with the barrel, okay? Now, as you get going, as you get loose, we can eventually add our stride into the mix, okay? And up the intensity to as close to 100% as we can, all while trying to keep this ball in the middle of the field. All this drill is is to get your hands going, get your body going, and train our hands to get inside each ball. If I can get inside this baseball, control my head so it doesn't drift over this baseball. If I can get everything on plane with this ball, I can easily adjust to anything else in the zone. It'll be very easy for my hands if I can control my hands and my head. It'll make for every other pitch to be very easy. So that's why I did what I did as far as that drill. Now the second drill is a drill that I used because I had a tendency to ground balls to the right side when I, get, when I got out and fly balls to left field, okay? So fly outs to the opposite way, ground balls pull side. I used a drill called the knee drill. And, and what I was trying to cure with this, when I was getting out, it wasn't so much as me losing my barrel, it was more me coming out of my legs, okay? Or my hips. When I got to power position, or they call it launch position now, when I got to power position, I was coming off of that line, all right? Which caused my barrel to come up, come out of my legs, me to come either up through the ball, hit a lazy fly ball to the left, or up and over the ball and ground a ball pull side. So the knee drill, I get set in my stance. I go through my whole swing, take 100% cut, finish my swing, then I go down to a knee, all right? And what I wanted to do, what I was trying to get at, is I was trying to get my head, knee, hip, and shoulder to stay centered in my body, okay? You've seen pictures of guys at contact, boom, where everything's lined up in the ideal swing, knee, hip, shoulder, head. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see feedback on this drill with a full swing. My balance and my weight can still go to my back foot after my follow through, but my knee still stays in the center for this drill, okay? Also, if I did it wrong, notice the distance when I do it right. When I do it right, notice the distance here. There's a great distance. When I do the drill wrong, when I come out of my legs, the knee gets very close to my front foot, all right? So it's a good drill for guys that have the tendency to either lunge at the ball, go at the ball with their head, or come out of their legs, all right? It's instant feedback, boom, based on the distance between your knee and your front foot. The third drill I have is the screen drill. I actually learned this one in spring training one year and actually fell in love with it pretty good. All right, so 
How this drill works is I'm putting the knob of the bat to my belly button and the end of my bat to the bar in the L screen, all right, to get my distance away. And what I'm trying to do here is keep my hands compact, keep my hands tight to my body and allow my barrel to pull through this way. We're not going to be able to cast our barrel in this drill, okay? That's what we're trying to get rid of, staying tight to our body, pulling our hands, and then releasing our barrel when it's time for the barrel to go, all right? The barrel should act like a whip. If we cast, the barrel doesn't come through as a whip, okay? So this drill is a drill that I fell in love with. Um, we would do it off front toss or a T. If we're doing it off a T, we have the screen about through the outside third of the plate, and we can put the T and the ball on the inside third of the plate. Always trying to challenge our hands, all right? Any drill I do off the T on my own, I'm trying to keep the ball in the middle of the field again. I could put this T down the middle, but it would make for an easier drill for my hands. I always want to challenge my hands to get inside the baseball, all right? So you'll find this drill will speed your hands, keep everything compact, and you'll end up just reacting to that inside pitch in the game and hitting it where you should. But this drill got rid of my tendency to cast my barrel and kept me compact and through the inside of the baseball. My last drill is an opposite field front toss. All right, so the L screen slightly skewed to the left side of the field for lefties and the right side of the field for righties, opposite of you. All right, in this drill, what we're trying to accomplish is letting the ball travel, driving the baseball to the other side of the field. In youth baseball, the majority of the time, the coaches are calling pitches to the outside part of the plate. And I would say the number one mistake hitters make as velocity decreases and as the ball goes away is they want to go and get everything. Okay, so this drill really locked me in as a youth baseball player to recognize pitches away, stay closed long enough and letting the ball travel to contact point. All right, also, I can't come out of my legs and do this drill right. All right, if I come out of my legs, I'm gonna end up pulling this ball this way, the barrel's gonna commit early and I'm gonna hit the ball to center field. So a few things going on here. If you have a player that has trouble keeping their eyes on contact, this is another great drill, okay? Let the ball travel. You have to see the backside of the baseball in this drill and drive it to the shortstop or through the five six hole. On top of that, this drill also tests your balance. If you have a guy that falls away from the plate, you're gonna end up pulling this ball. Instant feedback, if the ball goes up the middle or pull side, my balance probably went that way, okay, amongst other things. But this is a great drill to conquer your balance, okay? So this is the main drill that I used with my dad. When we'd go to the field, we would do opposite field front toss to start, opposite field front toss. Line and balls that way, line and balls that way, line and balls that way. Then he would score me up and it was amazing how long I could stay closed and how I committed my barrel and my hands at the exact time I needed to. So add this drill to your uh, repertoire, see what it can do. Those are great drills. Just to clarify, I do have a video out there that was called three hitting drills you should never do. And your number two hitting drill looks very similar to one of the drills that I did there. It was going down to the knee, but they are far different drills. In that video, I explained, and I see a lot of guys doing this drill, where they're swinging and going down as they're swinging. Totally different from Nick, where he was taking a full swing and then checking himself with the knee down, okay? I, do you recommend doing the other drill? No, not at all. Total, two total, totally different two drills. totally different drills. Very good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more hitting drills, let us know in the comments below if there's anything else hitting that you want to see, videos, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out thebaseballbox.com. Subscribe to YouGoPro Baseball YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.